Hi, now everyone has heard about ChatGPT so far, but I don't know if you have heard about using ChatGPT for learning embedded systems or not. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can learn embedded systems faster with ChatGPT. <laughs> so let's get started. What you need to do is you simply need to log into ChatGPT using this link and see the magic unfolding in front of you. <laughs> let's get started. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll simply go to that link and I will log in over here. This will log in me to my ChatGPT account. I'm using Google account to log into ChatGPT. And I'll just use my Gmail ID to log in. Sometimes the login needs to be done double or twice, as you can see. But it doesn't matter. It's just some minor bugs and we hope that it will be resolved soon with ChatGPT. Now, how to use it to embedded systems or to learn embedded system? That's a very interesting thing. Now, I'm going to show you the same over here. Okay. So, what I'll do is I will simply first try to clear my chat over here. I have done just way too many things over here. Or I'll just use or create a new chat. Okay. Now, let me just rename this new chat or let me just delete this chat and I will create a new chat. Uh, let me call it uh, something related to Arduino. So what do you want to do with Arduino? Okay. For example, I have an LM35 sensor and I want to interface it with Arduino and see the program. My question should be write an Arduino program to interface LM35 temperature sensor using ADC. Just try to be a bit more brief with your query and now see chat GPT will write the program for you. So sensor pin A0 means you need to connect LM35 to VCC ground and the data out to A0 pin. In setup it will simply do serial.begin9600 your UART is initialized then your sensor value is read using this analog read function then you convert that value into the millivolts that are being sensed or sorry the voltages that are being sent 5 divided by 1023 and now by dividing that value by 0 0.01 or 10 millivolt you are basically going to get your exact temperature value so serial dot print temperature then you print this temperature value over here and then you print a degree celsius symbol as simple as that what more you need let's say you want to send some values using GSM model. So you want to send an SMS. So write an Arduino program to send LM35 temperature sensor value as SMS using SIM 900, something like that. Or SIM or GSM modem. You can simply also write a GSM modem here to give a smaller time period. But now you see, it started using it. So you need to use a software serial. You can connect the RX and TX of the GSM modem over here. This is where you will read the temperature value. The initialization command AT plus CNGF equal to 1. Then your mobile number where you want to send the SMS to. Here now it computed the whole temperature reading. Then it's printing on to the SIM 900. Temperature, humidity and then something over here so it starts the setup with this code 80 plus cmj is equal to your number then your values and then control c moreover how to utilize it what is the description about this code that description is also provided over here another complex example let's take a complex example okay write an arduino program to read LM35 values and create a data log on memory card with date and time. So this is a complex data logger project. Mind well guys, it needs you to understand the analog interface, it needs you to understand the RTC library, the DS1320, uh, 1307 or 13231. Then it also needs you to understand the whole SPI landscape, how to create a file on memory card and then create the program for it. 
Now see what ChatGPT is doing. It's creating the SPI pins, then initializing it. It's creating the RTC pins, then initializing it, then reading the temperature value. Then it's creating the date time. The next line is create a data file data log.txt. Now it's appending the year, then month, then day, then hour, then minutes, now seconds. And after the seconds, it will print the temperature value over here. And then we'll close the file. Now this is not a simple fit to do guys. And this is literally, this can blow anyone's mind. Of course, it doesn't omit the typical learning curve that goes into understanding everything. But still, what is this? Okay, it doesn't mean that you need to be dumb. You will still need to customize this course. But what's the better way to get a very nice starting point for your project than this? As simple as that. Try to use it for your programs and adventures and see how it goes. Thank you for watching.